Good morning, everybody. I'm Mary Love, and welcome to Country Living. Today, it's cool outside. It's rainy. We're supposed to get about a 50% chance of rain today, so I'm hoping we do. But right now, I'm enjoying the cool weather. So today is a great day for making some homemade jelly. So let's get started. Now, I've got a jam and jelly maker. It's a ball jam and jelly maker and I absolutely love this thing. I've had it for a few years now. It just makes small batches of jelly. This is not sponsored by anybody because Lord knows I don't have enough subscribers yet for any of that stuff. But I love this thing. If you like making small batches of jelly, this is the perfect thing to have. Each batch will make about four jars four half pint jars of jelly. Sometimes you get lucky enough, you might get five. How that works out, I don't know, because it calls for the same amounts of the ingredients on every batch, so who knows. But anyways, let's get you down here where you can see what I'm doing, and we're gonna get this show on the road. All right, now each batch of jelly that I'm gonna be making today and we are going to be making berry blend. It's strawberries, blackberries, and blueberry blend of juice. There's no sugar added to this. So you can use store-bought juice as long as it says no sugar added. You can use that to make homemade jelly with. So it calls for three cups of juice. Four tablespoons of a powdered pectin. We're going to mix this up together. And four tablespoons of this powdered pectin is equivalent to one box. I'm going to give this a mix. You want that powder dissolved as much as possible. Alrighty. Now we're going to plug this jam up, this jelly maker up. We're going to pour this juice in here. It calls for a half a teaspoon of butter. That helps to keep it from foaming up. That's why I've got this machine sitting on this pan. That way if it does foam up and foam over, it'll get on this pan and not my counter. All right, we're gonna push the jelly button. Push enter. And here in about four minutes, this is gonna beep. And when it beeps, then we'll add three cups of sugar. So we'll hang out for just a minute. Let that do its thing. I like making jellies. Sometimes I'll give them as gifts at Christmas time. They make really good gifts. Um, today I'm going to be making, right now I've got enough powdered pectin to make three batches of jelly so after this I'll have to go to Walmart and get some more powdered pectin so I can make some more because I've also got some white grape peach this is a great value brand and I've got some peach juice in there that I made myself by cooking down peach peelings in the uh, pits. I uh, put them in a big old dish pan, covered them with water, and cooked those down to it made a really good juice and strained it all out and stuff through jelly cloths and or jelly bags and cheesecloth to make sure there was no uh, pieces of the peeling or uh, pieces of the seeds if they broke off or anything in the juice. 
because you don't want nothing in there to ruin your juice. So I'll get me a quart jar of that after a while and add to that to give it more of a peach flavor like I want. And that'll be good. But like I said, this jam and jelly maker is it's a dream come true. You don't stand over the stove. Standing there stirring and stirring and stirring for what seems like for eternity. This, it does the work for you. It's, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'll put you down here where we can see if you can. There's a, a little stirrer in there. Yeah, you can see it. That does all the work. And you can make jams and jellies in this. Each one has its own little set timer. And I have made barbecue sauce in this thing. Uh, works out great. If you like homemade barbecue sauce, works out great for that. So there's other things you can do with it besides just making jelly. But that's about the only things I've tried right now is the barbecue sauce. Mostly jelly. I only made the barbecue sauce one time. But jelly, yeah, I make a lot of that. My daughter's, she likes strawberry kiwi. Um, there's a young man about, hmm, I guess he's probably about 10, that goes to church with me. Um, he likes the, what is his favorite, grape? I think. Maybe apple. I'm not sure. But anyways, he likes the homemade jelly. And so I, I usually take him some and give different ones. I make apple butter. Um, unsweetened apple butter. I make pear butter. Unsweetened. Because there's some friends of mine that are diabetics like I am. And so I make that. And then we can enjoy it. I do eat some of the jelly. I don't eat a whole lot of it at one time, but I do eat it. Oh, time to put the sugar in. Put you down here. Let me do this with the other hand where you can see. Here's hoping I don't make a mess. Alrighty, we'll let that do its thing. And in 21 minutes, we'll have jelly ready to go in the jars. And I've got my electric water bath canner going back here. I got my jars in it, already heated up, ready to go. Um, got my flats there. I'll put them in some hot water here in just a little while. And we'll have those ready. And... We'll get some jelly on the way, so we'll be back here in just a little while, so don't go anywhere. Alrighty, it's done, so we'll put you down here, and you can watch this process. We're going to take this stirrer out. There we go. Take that out. Rinse it off a little bit while it's still hot. That way, when I go to make the next batch of jelly, it'll then be rinsed off. Now, I got my funnel. And stir it just a little bit. And we're going to fill these up to about a quarter of an inch from the top.
can already tell I'm going to get more than four jars out of this. There'll be enough for a small taster jar. Hopefully. Nope, I don't guess so. But we'll put that in there. Now then, we're going to take a wet rag and we're going to go around the tops of these rims. Make sure there's nothing sticky on them. Because if you got anything on them, that rubber seal on that flat you're going to put on here won't stick. And if it doesn't stick, it won't seal. And if it doesn't seal, you have to eat it right away. Whew, it's hot. This one off again, just to make sure. All right, now we're gonna get some lids on there. Just going to put these rings on here, finger tight. Now we're going to put these back in this water bath canner. We're going to let that, excuse me, my nose is itching. We're going to let that come up to a boil. And once it comes back up to a boil, then we'll set the timer for 10 minutes. We'll let them water bath for 10 minutes. Then after it, the timer goes off, I will turn the uh, water bath canner off, take the lid off of it, and let them set for about 10 minutes before I take them out of the water bath canner. And then... Once those are setting for 10 minutes, we'll have the next batch of jelly started and ready to go when those are taken out and everything will be good. So we'll be back here in just a little bit. Alrighty, we're going to be taking this first batch out. We'll move it down here where you can actually see it. Doesn't that make a pretty jelly? I 
And I've got the second batch in the jam and jelly maker going right now. I've got the second batch going. And we'll get that all done. And then I've got one more batch to go. And then I'll go to Walmart and get the powdered pectin that I need to finish it. And we'll come back after a while and I'm going to make some grape because that's my favorite. Used to be blackberry, but yeah, now it's grape. And then I'm going to make that white peach and I'll show you what all that looks like at the very end of it. So with that, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel and you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you subscribe, please be sure to hit that bell notification so that each and every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified of it. I, I enjoy making these kind of videos, um, making the jelly. Most of my videos are cooking, which I'm not no chef by no means, but I ain't killed nobody yet, so I must be doing something right. Boy, I figure it, but anyhow, with that, I will say God bless Take care, and until this evening, I'm going to make some barbecue chicken legs for dinner, and I'll be back to video that. So, God bless, and I will see you later.